of letters that are being sent to you guys? Does, did everybody have like their own favorite ranger, so they would send you letters? Or? Sure. I mean, uh, we all would get boxes um, and fan mail, yeah. and so I know for me, I tried to answer as many as I could. It wasn't always easy, right. but uh, we did our best to answer that. And how was the chemistry with the rangers? The original cast. Um, I mean, we had amazing chemistry. So I think it's unfortunate what happened, uh, like when three of them were let go and we brought three new ones in, not that, not that the new, new ones were great either, but the original cast had amazing chemistry because we had all gone through it together. Like we really experienced the downs <laughs> that we had to go through, um, like where we all shared a trailer in the beginning to like it getting bigger and we're getting our own trailers and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, the original cast, we had great chemistry together. So. That's awesome. Awesome. I'd like to turn it over to the audience because I know that this is basically your panel as well. Are there any questions for Mr. David Yost here? Please, don't be shy. And don't, call, a couple of them. don't call me Mr. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, David, there. I saw two hands, so let's go right here. One thing I wanted to ask is, uh, what was, what's one of your favorite episodes that you can remember? One of my favorite episodes that I can remember? Well, I shot at 200, so there's... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I mean, if anything, the movie is, like, one of my favorite things to re that I remember the most, just because it was such an awesome experience. As far as television uh, episodes go, probably just the, the food fight one, which had Pudgy Bay in it. Um, <laughs> that was just fun because we got to have an actual food fight, and it was in the beginning, and we were still trying to figure things out. Um, I just remember it being really exciting filming filming that episode. That's awesome. That's awesome. Cool. This, how did you feel like about how they had your character work? He went from like this weakling to like basically you could say the leader because he was in the center telling the informing the opponent just what they're supposed to do. Like he went from like pretty much I don't know, I guess a nothing character to like the I think what he means is like the character ball. He went from nothing to no, I understand what you're saying. Um yeah, I I uh, tried to evolve Billy over my time on the T V show. Um, because I thought in the beginning, you know, he would, they would have Trini, the Yellow Ranger, interpret what he was saying. And that was always frustrating to me, not only as an actor, but as a human being. Like, how, how frustrating to speak and nobody understands you, and then you have to have your friend translate to your other friend. So I did everything I could to move Billy away from, you know, being that out of touch. And so, um... You know, it was just a natural progression. I, I wanted to make sure that people understood that it's okay to be completely intelligent and that you can still kick ass. So um, that's sort of how I moved Billy. Does that answer your question? Yeah. That's good. Anybody else? Any questions? Right here. Yes, Were there any uh, like fellow actors on the show that you felt like, man, like you had a really good time with in terms of like you, you said you had a great chemistry, but you had really fun moments off and on. Is that with? Yeah, I mean, everybody, we, uh, you know, we spend 12 to 16 hours a day together, so everybody gets on each other's nerves, but, you know, it's like brothers and sisters, and so, um, but yeah, I hung out with Jason David Frank a lot um, off the show, and Amy Jo Johnson as well, um, so I'm still in contact with everybody, um, but like, I'll be seeing Amy Jo in a couple weeks, and uh, celebrating her birthday and everything. So go on uh, Twitter or Facebook and wish her a happy birthday on October 6th. <laughs> um, so yeah. Yes, sir, um, right how did it feel when you first put on the suit? For Embarrassing. For <laughs> 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 so you know, you sign up for a show, you just want to be a working actor, and then you find out you have to wear spandex for a lot of the show. And uh, you know, I have chicken legs, so my legs didn't really fill out the outfit too well. Um, so, I don't know, it's embarrassing, but exciting at the same time. Good. Yeah. Great question. Any, anybody else? Can? Right here. If there was a reunion, would you join the cast? Absolutely. I would. Uh, if they did a legitimate reunion, um, I would absolutely do it. I would be excited to do it. Um, you know, where they really took the time to develop the characters and explain what's happened to them and, and all that. They are doing a, a Mega Force reunion where they brought back a lot of people. Um, but I chose not to do that because I didn't feel it would be the, I didn't feel it was under the right circumstances. Have, has there ever been talks about it? Like have there been talks about the original, bringing back the originals from the reunion? 
Um, I I don't know. I'm not involved in the production of it, so I don't know if they would talk about it. I know fans ask about it all the time. They're, I think it would be exciting to do, yeah. but I don't know. 